goodness. Listen, listen. Hey there, besties. Y'all know that I got to talk about Sierra, but I'll be looking at it from a different perspective, okay? So Sierra is out here with her new song, whatever the heck it is, it's called. When this first came out, let me see, four days ago, Virtual Spiritual or Spiritual World said, press play, positive affirmations, speaking life into myself, the girls, hashtag Sierra. All right, cool. So then whoever wrote this caption, this is for the girls that don't need no man while standing in your man's house, living in luxury with his money. It's crazy. Is it? Is it? So Sierra is an entertainer. And I think that many people forget that part. She is a singer, you know, listen, people think what they want. She an entertainer. She a singer. She definitely a dancer. I will give Sierra her props on being a dancer. Okay. She's out here to entertain. She's out here to give the people what they want. Same as content creators. We out here to entertain. We out here to give the people what they want. Right? Right. For the people that will go against the grain, they suffer with people who give them a hard time, people who give them backlash, call them names, tell them they'll pick me, mammy, small penis, all types of things. You get up here and you do something and it's always going to be someone who don't like it. It's always going to be somebody who mad. We mad. We don't like it. We don't like it. Shut up. Don't do it. Don't say it. You wrong. You not right. You shouldn't do that. You need to be more heartfelt. You a transgender. You know, whatever bullying insult that one wants to use. And typically, I'm going to go ahead and say it. It's black women because they have an opinion on every damn thing except for their own effing lives. Okay. So you're telling me that it's weird that Sierra put out a song talking about, I don't want a man, I don't need a man, I don't want a man, I don't need a man. When all women say all day and half the night is, I don't want a man, I don't need a man, I don't want a man, I don't need a man. So where is it weird and crazy that Sierra would do this? We are not talking about her personal life. We are talking about her entertainment. She is an entertainer, a singer, a dancer. If she's sitting up here and she's in tune with what women are saying, this is exactly what y'all are saying. So one would think, oh, let me go ahead and give them what they want because this is what they be saying. Yeah, I know. I got Sierra's prayer and they loved it. I had Sierra's prayer and they loved it. They called me all kinds of names, of course. And, you know, went up there and I said, Lord, I want me a man. I gotta have a man. I don't want, I want a man. I need a man. I want a man. I need a man. And then she got her man. Mostly everybody been like, yeah, girl. Yes, sis, go, sis. Yes, sis, go, sis. She got herself a Russell. Now I want a Russell Wilson. I want me a Russell Wilson. While on the other side of the mouth, I don't need a man. I don't want a man. I don't need a man. I don't want a man. Hey, hey, hey. Like I always say, talking out of both sides of the mouth. When Sierra put out that last song when she was in a gas station twerking up on the daggone Jeep. Yes, sis, go, sis. Yes, sis, go, sis. Now, mind you, I don't know what the hell else she done put out, all right? No, I'm lying. She did that. She did that ad for some vodka or something. And she was on the beach twerking and had the bottle on her head. That was about a year and a half to two years ago. Yeah, girl, we see you, sis. Yes, sis, go, sis. Yes, sis, go, sis. Get on the daggone chair. Russell is there. Twerk, 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 twerk. Yes, sis, go, sis. Yes, sis, go, sis. She go over to some daggone award show or something, I think overseas her and a couple of other, the regulars, Lala, I'm sure was there at a, a black tie event twerking. Yeah, we see you girl. Yeah, sis, go sis. Yes, yeah, sis, go sis. All that. Yes, sis, go sis. All that while she was married to Russell, mind you. Married woman, mother of two to three kids, however many she got now. It was all, yes, it's ghosts. Yeah, it's ghosts. Yes, it's ghosts. Now she sits up here and she gives a song based off of what you women say every daggone day, half the daggone night, and most of the day on Sunday. 
I don't want a man. I don't need a man. I don't want a man. I don't need a man. So she giving you your anthem. She giving you what you've been saying is the case. And now there's backlash. Now there's repercussions for Sierra because she said what y'all said. She said, this is for the girls that don't need a man. She ain't say her. She ain't say that about her. Y'all said that about y'all. Y'all say it every day. When them panels be up on YouTube, every day. How many of these panels is going viral because they over here talking about you crusty, dusty, musty, rusty, ashy, you a bum, Jermaine. I don't need a man. I don't want a man. I got a business, sis. But now because Dagon Sierra is saying it because she happens to have a husband, now it's a problem. Now she ain't ish. Now y'all want to come for her. Now you want to give her a hard Dagon time. At the end of the Dagon day, like I always say, you are responsible for your choices and your consequences. Sierra can't make nobody do nothing. Y'all was already doing it. Sierra is over here trying to make money. Shout out to her. I ain't got a problem with it. She in tune to the foolishness and she said, let me give them the foolishness. But with all this backlash, given all this, I don't want to need, I don't need a man. I don't want a man. I don't need a man. But now y'all mad because the woman with the man is saying, go ahead and be your independent selves. How you mad? Does that mean that you really want a man at the end of the day? Does that mean you really just out here being combative for no daggone reason, running off at the mouth just to be running off at the mouth, just to be seen, just to be heard, just to have something to say, knowing daggone well, once you go home, you know daggone well, you want a man there. Is that what we saying? Because y'all know this is all foolishness any daggone way as far as I'm concerned. I don't give a damn what Sierra is singing about. She in tune with what y'all are saying. And now y'all turning on her because that's what y'all do. This every day, every day, it is proven why I don't need women as friends. And I don't have a lot of them because they're crazy. Y'all heard crazy. Don't know what they want from minute to minute to minute. Change on a dime. I want this. No, I want that. No, I like this. No, I like that. Sounds like a Dr. Seuss daggone book. This out fake outrage, this selective fake outrage for Sierra is BS. You either going to rock with her daggone song or you not. Y'all out here sitting up here saying this every daggone day. Every daggone day. Sierra was, all, was also married when all those other things happened. Y'all ain't have one bit of a problem with it. In my mind, in my 51-year-old mind, y'all mad that she's saying it because you know daggone well that she has absolutely everything that you want. Not because of the fact that Russell makes a however million dollars a season or however that works, right? Not even because he got the money. Because he is a good man. Because he is an attentive man to his wife. He supports his daggone wife. He wants to be with her. He shows that he loves her. He wants to have kids with her. He accepts her one out of wedlock kid. And y'all can't find that at the end of the day. So don't be mad at Sierra because she's giving y'all what y'all say you want. Don't be taking her personal life into account because honestly, at the end of the day, if you really was interested in Sierra's prayer, you would change your attitude. You would change how you look. You would change how you act. You would listen to what the daggone men that you claim that you don't want, which at the end of the day, you know, you do want and do what it is that they say that needs to be done. Nobody said anybody had to be a slave. Nobody said that anybody had to be under anybody. But at the end of the day, you are not over top of any daggone man. You're not man women. That's the problem. You think you're men. You're not. You, this equality stuff has been warped your damn minds that y'all don't even understand reality. You're living outside of reality. And that's why everything is the twilight daggone zone, because this right here with Sierra is the twilight damn zone. It's the twilight damn zone. So until you get your minds right and figure out what it is that works best for your mind and yourself and stop glorifying these daggone celebrities, stop worrying about what these daggone celebrities are saying, because you really don't be paying attention to them because Cardi B done told you and she run home to offset every day, even after he cheated on her, she's still there cooking and cleaning. 
So why don't you go ahead and make the best deal that you can, if you can even do that. Stop envying Sierra, because you're never going to get this life. I mean, you can play the lottery, but the odds are that you ain't going to get it. Just like those playing the lottery to get Section 8, odds are they ain't going to get it, but they keep playing. Y'all keep playing this daggone game. You love Chloe Bailey. You love you, girl. Yeah, girl. Yeah, girl. Yeah, girl. She go make a song with Chris Brown. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What does that have to do with anything? That is her effing career. The man is successful. And at the end of the day, who the F is going to see Chris Brown? I'm pretty sure we don't be seeing a drove of men going to see Chris Brown. I'm pretty sure we don't see tons of males, young and old, crusty, dusty, musty, and rusty running out to go see Chris Brown. It's women. It's black women mostly. And these are the same ones that went out there and paid $1,000 just to take a picture with that daggone man. But these are the same outraged people because of the fact that Chloe decided to have a daggone song with Chris Daggone Brown. And now you want to take him down. Then as soon as you take him down and he goes and has a concert, you'll be there. Make it make sense. Talking out of both sides of your mouth. Beyonce. And then I'm done. Beyonce, my girl. All right. I ain't even going to front y'all already. No. All right. Out here initially with all these high ass prices because of the renaissance, the renaissance, the renaissance. She got a plan to take all your tax money. Shout out to Beyonce. Okay. Because if you fool enough to go ahead and do that, that's not on her. That's on you. Another woman. Strong and independent song. You ain't got no problem with that. Oh yeah, girl. All the single ladies, all the single ladies. Sing it, love it, like it. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on all that. All that. Yeah, girl, go, girl. Gets cheated on by uh, Jay-Z cheats on her. Make lemonade. You should leave him, girl. You should leave him, girl. You should leave him. 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 She stays. They work it out. Stronger than ever. Worth more than ever. Don't the rest of their family lineage probably don't ever have to worry about money ever again as any of their problems. She's still married. Y'all still rocking with her. You still rocking with single ladies and any of them other songs that she got, got out there. Not a problem. Nope, not a problem. But now all of a sudden, Sierra makes the song that y'all been chanting for years. And now it's a problem. This selective outrage is BS. These are a bunch of women who now are coming to the realization, especially with the daggone passport bro movement, that you are losing you're finally recognizing and realizing it instead of doing the right thing and saying, I was wrong and improve yourself. You'd rather continue to attack somebody like Sierra for saying exactly what y'all be saying. Make it make sense. You can't because y'all crazy. Get some help. Get some mental health help. I'm going to keep saying it because that's the problem. Women are children. They ain't trying to grow up. They round here bullying people. They acting like children. Then we wonder why the kids act like they do because they're being raised by children. Good luck to the future. Continue to live in the twilight zone. That's it. That's all. If you made it this far, I do appreciate you. Please consider subscribing. I will see you all in the next one.